One of my coaching colleagues sometimes is joking that a Japanese women's single surf is only good when the shuttle comes down and there's ice or snow at the tip of the shuttle. So really watch how they are serving. They really hit the shuttle under the roof. In this video, I want to give you some tips and tricks for the forehand surf, um, some technical things, but also some technical things if you're just starting out and want to learn the long forehand surf. So first of all, why do we actually need a long forehand surf or why should we use it? Um, the first obvious reason is we want to push our opponent all the way to the rear cord. So the goal should be to place it at the baseline. Of course, you want to play it high enough so he or she has to go all the way to the back. But now the recommendation, if you have a high haul and you can play it like these Japanese girls, this is a really good idea because then the shuttle comes down like this. What makes it super hard to attack for the opponent because now when you hit the shuttle you're actually hitting the feathers what takes away a lot of power in your smashes for example or makes it harder to control the shot. If you play it a little bit lower then the shuttle comes like this and it's a lot easier to attack it or to play some variations some dangerous things from the rear cord. Then you have two more options you want to place it more to the middle of the cord or you want to place it more to the outside. Placing it to the middle of the cord can be a good idea because that takes away the angles for the attack of your opponent. So now the shuttle is going to pass you no matter if he hits on your forehand or your backhand side. If you play to the outside, then you open up your cord a little. So you have to move also a little bit to the side you serve on because the straight smash is quite dangerous here, but then you open up also the other side of the cord. So that can be a little bit dangerous, especially when you play against an opponent with a good and strong attack. Okay, some important key points for the service. First of all, very basic, you should stand with your non-dominant leg in front, so a little bit sideways, turn to the, to the net, and yeah, have the racket behind you, the elbow behind you, and of course, shuttle in the other hand. Now, the main mistake that usually happens with beginners is that they just let the shuttle drop, and that gives you a really awkward hitting point, like point of impact, very close to the body, and that makes it almost impossible to hit it really far and long to the rear cord. So first important thing is that you not just drop the shuttle, but throw it a little bit in front of you. A good guideline could be putting your racket in front of your left foot and then throw it so it actually lands on the racket head. And that should give you a good point of impact when you do a swing to hit it all the way to the back and also have a good point of impact in front of you. With the movement, two more things. First of all, try to shift your body weight during the service forward. So in the beginning, I'm standing here on my right foot in the rear, and then I push a little bit forward and in the end, my weight is on my left foot. So go forward, also push the hip a little bit forward. And with the swing, just imagine a golf player that is hitting with one arm. So the racket can really make a big swing. You have a lot of time afterwards, so you don't have to be ready right away. You can swing over your shoulder and really try to hit the shuttle super high and all the way to the back. One more tip, especially for beginners, if you have problems with hitting the shuttle and creating a good swing, it is a good idea to just play the shuttle upwards with the standard V grip, so the basic grip, and with a huge swing over your shoulder. And try, try to use all the height of your hole. So much for the forehand surf. I hope it gave you some good ideas and some tips how and why to surf with the forehand. And don't be afraid, even in men's singles, when you see top players only serving backhand, the reason is they have a very strong attack, so they don't want to give away the attack right from the beginning. But as you can see on women's singles level, they also have a good attack, but there, yeah, a good long surf sometimes can even be an advantage. So also I have seen many of these Japanese women single players practicing surf over and over again. You could think 
This is such a basic shot they can do uh, while asleep, but they're still practicing it so it lands down right on the line in the rear court so they get themselves in a good position to start out the rally. One last thing before you jump off, definitely hit the subscribe button if you're not already following my channel yet. Activate the notifications, like this video of course, and then see you in the next video. Bye bye.